by the end of this video, you're gonna know which of these is gonna be the best for you. I'm gonna save you money, I'm gonna save you time. This is gonna be great. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is man for himself. If you like hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance, and videos like this very one, then chances are you are. You are going to love it right here. Please do press subscribe right now. Okay, very messy desk. This desk is full of pre-stylers. Yes, it is. This is part of the hair products guide series that I'm doing each week tackling something else. And last week we spoke about hair products in general from the pre-styling, styling, fixing, finishing, that sort of three-step styling that I like to do. Um, and this one really is gonna go into what that first step is. I'm gonna tell you what pre-styling is, why you should be doing it, when you should be doing it, types of pre-styler, and then really the best one for you. So pre-styling is the first step in styling. This is where you're gonna provide a great foundation for a fantastic hairstyle. I always think there's no point going on to use a wax or a clay or a paste if you've not done the pre-styling phase. But really this is where you're gonna to start to tackle any little problems that you might personally have. The why is exactly in that. It's personalizing. Hair, skin, fragrance, whatever it is, it's all about what's good for you. And if you get the right pre-styler, you're gonna be able to get the right styling and the right sort of finish. Now, I'm really excited to have a sponsor for this video. The sponsor is Geology. As I've said here, this is all about personalizing and Geology is exactly that. Geology is personalized skincare, high efficacy and products that really work. Now, the easiest thing to do on this is to click the link in my description. It's gonna take you to the Geology website going to put you through a very quick, I should say quick, it is like literally 30 seconds quiz. It's going to ask you about your current skincare. It's going to ask you about any skincare concerns. Maybe that's fine lines, wrinkles, high, uh, or maybe acne. And by the end of that, it's going to create a regime for you, a personalized regime that's really going to work for your skin type. Now, you can save up to 40% on your first order and get started for under $1 a day. So really, there's nothing to lose on this. And also with their trial set, 30 day trial set, you're gonna get a four product lineup. That's gonna include a face wash, which you use in the morning and at night, personalized morning face cream, a repairing night cream, and their nourishing eye cream. And then after your trial, you can move into a rolling subscription. You can buy them as separates or you can leave it. It is totally up to you, but again, it's linked in the description, and I would definitely say, even if you're just gonna take the quiz, do check it out. Now the when of pre-styling is probably pretty obvious, but it's the first step, and it's before styling. I generally do it when I've got towel dried hair. Your hair should be clean. There's no point layering loads and loads and loads of products over the top. Make sure you've got clean hair. Now into types of pre-styler, you can have anything from a spray, to an oil, a serum, a gel, a cream, and a mousse. And um, so there are loads of different types, starting with um, primers. I would say they're the most minimal of the pre-stylers. Primers tend to have like a heat protectant in them, and they're also maybe going to smooth the hair, detangle it. These are the most basic. Primers are great and definitely something you should have in your box. Do I think they are for everyone? No, and I would say it's for guys that maybe want to do a little bit more and have more versatility with their hair. Smoothing, um, Label M had a really great smoothing anti-frizz range. This is part of that. They've got sprays, and um, they've got a serum, they've got an oil, and then they've got this balm one. So if you've got coarse hair, so if your hair is really um, quite rough to the touch, you want to smooth it, you feel like quite often you get flyaways with your hair, so those bits that stick up, then something for frizz could be great for you. And again, I will link all of these, and they are on manfromself.com. Hit that pre-stylers button, and it's gonna give you all the pre-stylers that I've tried and that I've spoken about right there. Texture. Now, texture and thickening are two very different things. Texture is about the movement in the hair, so how does that hair look? 
Um, I love texture, especially if you've got a really choppy haircut. You're gonna see all that movement in it. It's gonna look very natural the way it moves. Um, so something for texture. You could go for a sea salt spray. Let's find my favorite, Ocean Mist by Sasha One, fantastic, um, quite expensive. But you've got cheaper ones like this one, again, Tony and Guy, which is part of the same group as Label M. This is a really great product. This is from Boots, it's cheap. Um, this one has sort of more conditioning agents and I think it feels slightly better in the hair, but this one is still great. So if you want a kind of lived in beachy look and you just want your hair to have loads and loads of great movement texture, then a texture spray. Um, texture Tonic by Aveda has none of the drying of a sea salt spray, but all the texture of a sea salt spray. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And um, quite often people will use a sea salt spray for volume um, or thickening. I wouldn't do that. I think sea salt spray should be kept in that texture lane. But something that you could use is thickening. So I am a thickening boy. Um, I use thickening sprays all the time. My hair is naturally very fine, which means it's not thin, it's fine, which means the actual strand of the hair is very, very thin. I have lots of it, but those strands are thin. So I want something to boost that hair and to make it look thicker. Um, thickening tonics, really, really great. Um, they can be like sprays, like the one by Aveda, the one by Bumble and Bumble, both great. Also, you get thickening gels, like the one by Nioxin. Nioxin, I'm still using System One, uh, which is the shampoo conditioner, I love it, and really, it's done wonders for my hair. They've also got a thickening spray here and their Dia Boost, which is like the serum. So thickening is another one that if you guys are struggling, maybe with thinning in the hair, or you just want a bit of extra confidence and you want a boost, then a thickening spray is your friend. Volume. So what's the difference between thick hair and voluminous, voluminous hair? Um, volume is more about that height and about that body, whereas thickening really, I just think, is in the body. You quite often get a thickening spray that will also give you the body and the volume, but if you just want the volume, then your go-to should be something like a mousse. Bumble and Bumble Full Form Soft Mousse. Um, I love this. Again, very much old school Robin, those big quiffs. A mousse is going to form, um, it can sometimes feel quite drying, it can sometimes feel quite crispy, um, but make sure you really use that hair dryer, blast it through, work it up, either with your hands or with a round curling brush, and it's gonna help to build all that volume. You might also have really dry hair, so uh, quite often if you've got coarse hair, then it might be dry, so you might want a, a sort of a boost of hydration. You could get that from something like the primer, or you could use something like this. Um, this is Bumble and Bumble's hairdressing UV primer, I wanna say, invisible oil UV primer. I find this too oily in my hair. My hair's not dry. It's generally in kind of like normal, normal's not a thing, but it's in, it's in pretty good condition, even though I do use loads and loads of products. So I find this too oily in my hair, but this is great if you've got really coarse hair, if you really, if it's hard hair, and you just wanna soften it slightly, you can get this into it, and you can leave it to dry naturally, or, you could be using this with a hairdryer. And there is that sort of gray area that I've, that I've spoken about before of people using a pre-styler as a styling product and a styling product as a pre-styler. You can do that, but I would say really have a think about what you're looking for in the hair. Thickening, volume, um, texture, uh, hydration, smoothing. Think about what that is. And instead of putting that into the styling of what you need there, go for the pre-styler. It's all about the foundation and it's all about working to what works for you. So there you go. And um, everything again is on manfromself.com. Just hit the pre-stylers. You can also filter by my own rating or you can filter by you guys as an audience, your rating. If you've been on the site, you can write your own little bits. You can give a star rating. And um, also as much as possible, I will link them in the description. But I am sort of filming these as a go. So if you've got any questions or you want to talk about anything, then just comment, it is that easy. But thank you again for watching. Still new to this, still not press subscribe, then hey, where have you been? Come on, press subscribe right now. The button is just there. So also more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them. Head to the product pages there, and I'll give you the series uh, playlist up there. But until my next new video, bye-bye.